Well, every year the lake breaks up. We're used to that. We know that um, the breakup usually happens in May. This is really early for this time of year. And based on the wind direction, um, we've been very fortunate so far all these years that the buildup has not happened at this end of the lake. We usually experience a northwest wind that will take the ice down, down the lake. Um, this year, the winds weren't in our favor and uh, we had a west wind and we've experienced the pileup. Now, I have to say, this is the first time since my family and I have been on this property that this has happened and if this is it, this as far as it's going, we can deal with this. Usually down in the delta area at the south end of the lake is where, with the northwest winds, is where you're going to see and hear that the, the ice is built up on shore. But you can see that we're in a little bit of a protected area with that curve, with the, the way the land goes. So with the northwest winds, it usually doesn't pile up here. And it's early. You can tell by the thickness of the ice that it's, uh, it's an early start to the breakup. It happened last Thursday and exactly this started at 12.47. It took exactly three minutes for this ice to come up over. Yeah, uh, in the afternoon. We weren't here, we were in the city and we started getting phone calls saying that the ice was on the move. We hadn't expected it. We weren't even thinking about it because it's so early in the season for this. And we do have a video of it. Uh, our security cameras caught it. But you know, nobody was hurt. Nobody so far has experienced um, any, any, well, no, I can't say that. There was damage to two boathouses and to a cottage, just about six cottages down. Um, I went right through my neighbor's um, boathouse and it, cottage next door. It's a vacant cottage and an old cottage, but still it went right through the, it looked like an, a tsunami of ice. To be very honest with you. So. Yeah, it just came roaring right over. Yeah. Now this deck, my husband is an extremely good skilled at building, and this deck is anchored to drill rods and it's also got hurricane ties. But what saved it was it's flush with the rocks in the front. That one is higher, and that's why the ice got under it. It was built higher, and that's our access to the beach. So when the ice came, it just lifted it right up. But you know, the lights on it that we put, they go on every night, still. We were getting um, phone calls from the neighbors and saying, hate to tell you this, but the, the ice has hit your place. And we were actually told by one neighbor that both decks were destroyed. And, but he was looking from afar and just saw our neighbor's um, deck piled up there. So yeah, we were... <laughs> We were at an appointment trying to get our eyes tested, and I'm afraid we didn't do a good job of getting our eyes tested. We were very, very anxious. We heard about it uh, the same day it was happening. We have one of our counselors that lives on Twin Beach Road as well, and he was driving and he contacted me and informed me that this was happening and that he was talking to some of the cottage owners here. And I contacted our emergency coordinator. He was in Winnipeg, but he was coming back that same day, and he also said he was going to do an assessment of it. And aside from that, unfortunately, there's not much that the municipality can do. Uh, it's, it's mother nature at work. And as long as people aren't injured, um, we express our sympathies with them, but uh, we'll assist if we can in any way possible. Is it something that you can apply for DFA? No. We've looked into that and uh, it's uh, 
not uh, something where you know we could declare a state of local emergency uh, to apply that uh, type of application for funding. So unfortunately, I believe not even the, the homeowners can apply for insurance. Uh, approximately a week prior to this happening, we had a huge marsh fire um, right across the road from us, and uh, it involved our fire department to respond, Woodlands Fire Department also responded, and the wind was coming from the south, it was blowing it towards uh, town, and it was coming closer to the cottage people, but our fire department, with the assistance of Woodlands, were able to monitor it, and once they were able to get close enough, they attacked it and they were able to put it out. And uh, we expect this to continue. The provincial and federal governments have indicated climate change, and uh, they do see, you know, longer springs and falls and more drought, and we just have to be ready for it in any way we can. In regards to the ice, everybody is pretty well aware of it, and uh, it's not over yet. It's just the luck of the wind, where it blows. It could end up impacting other people. Last year, we had ratepayers that were approximately three kilometers north of us from this location, and the ice came right up to their decks as well. So you never know where it's gonna hit. And uh, depending on the wind, if the wind changes, Towards the east, all this will, uh, the lake will open up, and if the wind changes back to the west, the ice will come back in within a few days. It's only coming towards the end of April. The lake's not done yet. We still have to have, um, be on watch for the next few weeks, watching what the winds are going to do. There's still a lot of ice out there, and um, so it's just something that we have to be cautious about and keep an eye on.